This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Well, after Keefe D got arrested, reportedly, Diddy lawyered up just to make sure that he wouldn't get, like, swept into any dumb stuff. Because Keefe D has been openly telling people about, you know, Diddy and his involvement, supposedly, in this. You know, with Von Zip paying him a million dollars to take out Sugar Pac or anything. Now, they're going to have a tr trouble linking that. But Keefe D is very open about this whole thing in his book. I mean, he basically told on himself. We know that. said, when the conversation would come up about a million-dollar bounty on the heads of Suge Knight and Tupac Shakur, that was business. Uh, but after Tupac and Suge and them death row guys jumped on my nephew, Baby Lane, it became ominously per uh, personal. He claimed the alleged $1 million bounty on Knight and Shakur put out by Sean Combs' as motivation. Combs, years later, called the bounty rumors, pure fiction, and completely ridiculous. Um, he said, in unison, all of our heads turned. There were people go, uh, there them people go right there. If Pac had not been hanging out the window, we would have never seen them. Um... They drove a white catalog al alongside the the, uh, the Beamer and lit it up. He said it was on. Tupac made an erratic move, began reaching down beneath his seat. It was first and only time in my life that I could relate to a police command. Keep your hands where I can see them. Instead, Pac pulled out a strap. That's when fireworks started. You think so? I don't know about that. But anyways, we'll see what happens with all this. Uh, then we got Pusha T still. We have to highlight this. Still never responded to Jim Jones. Okay, he shook. Uh, for some reason, he won't respond to him. But you can't say it's beneath you because it's not. You know, it's uh, you took the first. I mean, Jim Jones was talking about you, but then you took aim on a song with you and, you know, it was like clips, him and his brother. And then nothing they didn't even release that song it was just a fashion show song it was so dumb and then push t i know his excuse me well it was on tour getting money that same meek mill excuse that meek mill used when he was drake and him were beefing and he's like i don't have time to respond yet i'll get around to it when i can't count money right now it's like bro that didn't age too well drake's now a billionaire and you're nowhere close bro nowhere close now rick ross do you believe that Rick Ross is saving Meek Mill's career right now? I do. I, that, that new Shaq and Kobe brought out a, the side of Meek Mill that we liked 2017 and prior, you know? Because 2017 was the last album I really enjoyed from Meek Mill, personally. Personally, you could you could think I'm bugging. That's just, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of Meek Mill. It's just that 2017 and prior, when he got out of jail, I didn't really like championships. I didn't like the one he dropped two years ago too much. It seemed like it sounded like he was trying to be too much like other people. And then championships was I didn't like the Mob Deep sample. I didn't like that kind of stuff. But hey, it is what it is. Um, but I think Rick Ross is definitely bringing Meek Mill back to life, showing getting him back into grind mode. I like that. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. I'll check you guys on the next one. Peace.